Hey, we're back for Sub- the chilling adventures of Sabrina. I'm Lofi. I'm Jinxie. And we are getting into episode two of season three. Yeah. Uh, last episode. I it's really enjoyed Wizard it. Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Um, I did too. Apparently, like, we've heard that some people didn't, um, but, like, it was up our alley. Uh, we liked the homage to yeah, uh, Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Uh, it makes it more mm-hmm. surreal because, obviously, the Wizard of Oz takes place all in her dream. Mm-hmm. So... It, the hell was very much like a dream. Right. And there were even a couple things that we didn't catch during the episode that we yes. caught after. It's so funny when I was editing. So I realized that the flower, for example, that sings and can entrance you to sleep, it's very much the poppy fields from the Wizard of Oz mm-hmm. that entrances you and then kills you. We didn't notice this after watching the episode, but then I also yeah. saw one of you all commented it too. So I mentioned that to Jinxie when I saw it. Yeah. So Crybaby um, um, pointed out that um, the woman Prudence was pretending to be was the actress who plays Penelope Blossom. Yeah, from so, Riverdale. Yeah, which is a fun crossover since Riverdale and Sabrina technically exist in the same universe. Mm-hmm. But, like, it was so funny because when we were watching, I was like, she looks she's so, so familiar. familiar. Who is she? <laughs> right? And finally, after we stopped watching it, she, uh, Jinxie sent me a message being like, duh. Yeah, <laughs> Cheryl Blossom. <laughs> Penelope Blossom. Yep. Okay, so obviously they got Nick out of hell, which, mm-hmm. yay! But, but Dark Lord is still in him, so. Yeah, and he's not Ooh. awake. He's just kept in the witch's cell right yes. now, so we don't really know what it means. Uh, Sabrina has accepted being the queen of hell for now, mm-hmm. with uh, Lilith being the regent. Uh, there's Caliban, who is now mm-hmm. going to be the... Her rival. Yeah, I don't know where they're going with him at all, besides, mm-hmm. like, general, maybe she needs a rival kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm really intrigued by the things we haven't heard about yet. Like, they've been talking about, like, how this whole change in regime has got, like, some ruining the balance oh, of yeah, power. Oh, yeah, the instability in the realms. So, yeah, obviously, I think we're going to see that ice cream truck again. I know we okay, might be yeah. focusing it on a lot, but, like, it's just that little bit of foreshadowing that you're like, that's got to lead to something. Yeah, is it related to the carnival, though, that's coming in? The yeah, old the ones yeah. that are coming, the dark lords that are coming. Um, so I'm really intrigued to find out what that is. Um, they just set up so many things in episode one that we just need to know about. Right. I'm even excited to see Sabrina be a cheerleader. Her oh, yeah, and me Ross, too. Because that just seems fun. <laughs> to be honest, she I never had that much. I was excited originally when she went to the Academy because I was like, ooh, it means we're going to see more witchy mm-hmm. stuff. But honestly, she hardly spent any time at the Academy and... I was kind of looking for, like, witchy school stuff to happen, yeah. and it never did. It was mostly so just, uh, I'm not attached to the things. Academy at all, so her going back to Baxter to be a witch, mm-hmm. I mean, a witch, a cheerleader, it sounds really fun. Yeah. And um, on that flip side, I'm also really excited to see how the Academy develops, because now um, uh, Zelda is going to be the, uh, the basically, head mit- headmistress, um, high priestess, whatever her official mm-hmm. title is there, I can't remember. Um, and also there seems to be, like, a lot less students there, and also the council doesn't know anything, and I'm just really intrigued by all of it. Um, also to see, like, how them praying to Lilith will, like, possibly give Lilith more power, and I thought it was just such a good setup. Yeah. That I want to know more. Prudence and Ambrose are after Father Blackwood at Loch Ness. So Mm -hmm. we'll see. I don't that we have so much about that Mm -hmm. storyline that... We don't know. Yeah. And will there be repercussions for using voodoo blood magic or mm-hmm. not? Yeah. Because, like, a lot of things do require a balance. And I, obviously, I think the balance was giving her own blood. So I don't, I just don't know where mm-hmm. they're going with that. But it was a interesting piece of the episode. Yeah. Um, I hope it wasn't just, like, a one-off kind of thing. Because then it just feels, like, so cheesy just so you went to New Orleans just so that you could do, like, the, the voodoo, voodoo thing. Right. But... It would be fun if there was more of it. Although, I mean, if they did, made it a theme where, like, they went to a different country each time and used a different kind of magic That'd each time, cool. that could work. That would be really interesting. But, yeah. Did we... Did you have any other thoughts? No. Feelings? Let's, let's go. Let's, let's play. Let's play. Let's All play. Right. Let's play. So, yes. Without further ado, episode two. You're back home again. Everything's gonna be okay. <gasps> oh, no. No. It's not going to be okay. Lucifer. Go on. Call me daddy. You're no! So gross. I don't know if I trust this. I know, I don't know. We won't be able to trust anything. Is it really you? Let me see your tongue. Poor <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, Nick. Sabrina, <gasps> you idiot. How could you be that stupid? I don't know. Is it a trick? I hope it's a trick oh, and not maybe? just stupidity. Maybe? I I feel like it should, couldn't be that stupid. It's just... Right? 
It's gotta be a plan of her of some type. I hope so. Oh, it seems like this was an accident. This is so stupid. Like, you'd think that would be the thing you'd be most careful about. Right, like every day you just put in a new one. I, uh, I have to go over to my mortal school for a little while. I have a really, really important obligation there. Cheerleading. This speech is my recital. I think it's very- <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> adorable it's so ridiculous this is so funny did they just try to choose the most ridiculous cheerleading mm -hmm. performance I think they could? So. i'm pretty sure now the unrealistic part is that she would get this big of a singing part being a new member you're going to crush the pep rally well we're super excited yeah super excited oh don't miss the pep rally sabrina i think something's gonna go wrong at the pep rally of course something's go wrong nothing ever <laughs> goes right at pep rallies <laughs> just look at riverdale it's a relief to do something as normal as hello girl hey miss wardwell Oh, that's, oh, that's not, not Miss Wardwell. Wardwell. Could you just tell by the outfit? Your Highness and I have business to discuss, but I'd rather not do it in such a <laughs> cheerful setting. <laughs> and if you fail, you lose our throne to Caliban. Our mm -hmm. throne? Yes. Then he'll declare war on this mm -hmm. realm you care so very much for. There are consequences to the decision you made, Sabrina. What did this guy do? It doesn't matter. He sold his soul. You're there to collect, not befriend him. Uh-oh. What if it's for something good? Oh, mm -hmm. that's gonna be so hard for her. Yeah, this office is not gonna go well. Loch Ness. I'm, I'm excited. I hope we see some of the Loch Ness monster. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. There's gotta be a real one. Otherwise, why would you go to Loch Ness except mm -hmm. for have a moment to see the Loch Ness monster? Unholy mother of night. Oh, did, oh, she, she hear can hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. And holy Lilith, mother of night. Oh, poor Nick. I wanted you to have more screen time, but not like this. <laughs> do they do, do they know that he's under there? Oh, yeah. I don't know if she told them. I mean. Oh no. Because did she tell them that she was the Queen of Hell? Because I don't think she did. Did she? I don't think so. Oh no. No! Sabrina, why? How could you be this foolish? I would have rather have had it a breeze that went under the door that did it rather than Sabrina being stupid I know. enough to do it. Agreed. But yeah, like if when she slammed the door it broke, but not her actual foot. Yeah. Are you Robert Robertson? Oh, yeah. Girl, you couldn't even do an outfit change. I like that she's going to be taken to hell in her chilling outfit. Mm -hmm. Oh god, Sabrina, make sure you take him. Do you see us to go in a nice car? Girl, this isn't right. Oh, Sabrina, you're going to mess up and you're going to get in trouble. You're just going to have to hunt him down later. Something's going to go wrong. You can't just let him float. I know. Take the other one. Oh, Sabrina. Are you sure? Definitely. I thought it was gonna be some sympathy story where you'd actually be like, oh, yeah, he should probably go to heaven. But, but really, no, she just he can't. wanted to be a chess master and he sold his soul for it. I mean, we don't know how young he was when he did it. You really are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lilith. Let Prince Caliban collect the next soul. He'll prove worthy. Indeed, I would relish Ugh. such a task. <laughs> it's so gross. I can't even. All right, then, go. Get out of my classroom. I don't have time for such insolent behavior. Go, I said you're dismissed. I doubt any of them did it. Yeah, I don't think it's any of them the did. Thing. I think it's the thing. But I mean, if you were a student, you'd still probably laugh about it already yeah. being there. Because you're a teenager, and that's just how teenagers roll. <laughs> I swear the song choices in this episode. <laughs> Listen to Iron Maiden, baby, with me. Ooh. <laughs> We're totally off during I those. <laughs> I remember how they went. Not without the regular background. I just listened to the song like two weeks ago. Because <laughs> I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby. Listen to Iron She's going to burst in. <laughs> Every time it's going to be like this. I know. Awesome. Always in the middle of band practice. Okay. If you follow me in the Spellman Mortuary rehearse, once I get Mr. Platt's soul out, we can go body snatch his body. <laughs> okay, fine, but I'm driving. Wait, why do you always get to drive? 
I'm the only one of us who has a license, Theo. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, it's gonna go horrible. Something is gonna go wrong at this pep rally. I do not know mm. what. What if someone catches us? Oh, oh no. no! Friend Dorcas? Relax. No one's been down here in weeks. Oh, you Except for the children. Dark Lord. This is why you must tell people that you have a Dark Lord prisoner in your depths. Yes. At least a few signs, some crime scene tapes, Sabrina. Right. Dark Lord in residence, stay out. I feel like something fell in my hair. An evil bug! Get out of there! Gross, I'll still just get out of there. Ah, I can't watch it, I hate bugs, I can't! Let me know what's please, what's going in her ear? I can't. Uh, it's past. I don't know what I was doing, I was playing with her hair. Would any of them have ever called Faustus a bitch? No. Yes. No. And he was a little bitch. What that happened? It's Elspeth. She, she has come undone. She, she tried to kill me. Oh. What? She's possessed by little mm -hmm. bits of the Dark Lord. And you guys rush out and... To the corpse. Steal the corpse. I mean, it's not like stealing the corpse. You are a mortuary service. And she'll be like, they're helping yeah. me collect him. Just happen to be nearby. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> do, do, do. Extension fee? Yes. Extension on my contract. Seven more years of life in exchange for an innocent soul. <gasps> as soon as I finish my shift, we can go and I'll cut her little heart out and eat it. <laughs> oh, you did. Are oh, you did, Jimmy Platt? Oh. Oh, snap. You've been extending your life every seven years just to run an ice cream truck? Because that little darling I have waiting for you, no one knows where she is but me. <gasps> oh my god, Sabrina, take him out. I mean, you're a witch. You have ways to find people. <gasps> yeah, problem is she doesn't know who it is. And then I will personally burn Jimmy Platt's pitch black soul in hell myself. But the pep rally! <sighs> First. I gotta talk to the old boss. Oh no, please tell me you see the freaking broken line, you idiot. Put more salt down. You should always put more salt down every time. Like a whole bag around mm -hmm. the room just so you can dump it whenever you need to. And Caliban has all of hell backing him and he plans to expand into this realm. Do your job or unchain me so I can do it. Look at the freaking. <laughs> It's killing you. It's killing you so bad. It is, because it's stupid. It's a stupid plot hole. I don't think it's a plot hole, but in my mind it's a plot hole. The watery guardians of the West. Place of endings. Look at him. Also, why did he dress like that? He can wear normal clothes. I'm guessing he's tried this multiple times and nothing has happened. Maybe that's why it looks so crazy. Maybe he's just gone crazy. He was already going off the deep end of it. Oh, mm -hmm. there you go. Is this like the whatever from the Black Lagoon? That's what it looks like. Steal it. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. Right. Like, he didn't see you there. I behind know. the rock. One of us should save the children, whilst the other one of us all. Oh, Prudence. Make a plan. Oh. oh. Hello, daughter. Found me at last, eh? Oh, she's too reckless right now. Uh, this is what you get for just rushing in there. Yeah. I spent 15 years inside a temporal church of my own oh. creation. <laughs> Hence why he looks like that. No, oh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Return to me the egg. Don't give it to him. And we will bear witness to the birth of the unspeakable. Together, we can... <laughs> yes, God. Nice, Prudence. But I do wonder, are those her sister? Is that her sister and brother? Oh, them? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe? Sabrina's taking me to the doctor. For a checkup. For my eyes. My oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. In the freezer somewhere? Where he stores stuff? Oh, that was cool. Yeah, it was. <laughs> nice! We're going to find Lucy and bring her home, Mrs. Anderson. And the man who took her will be condemned to hell and tortured there for all eternity. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, girls. Hurry mm -hmm. up! So where'd you move from? It's just some tiny boring town. Oh, it's hair's oh. green. Okay. A tiny boring town. This seems suspicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. <laughs> My name is Judith. It's not. Mm -hmm. Oh no! I knew it. He's been brainwashing them all these years too. Mm -hmm. Oh no! And then there's a stupid. Ugh. <laughs> They're possessed. Mm -hmm. Agatha. 
What are you doing? <laughs> but don't, won't they realize it? You're a bitch! <coughs> Obviously, I think everybody's a little infected. Noon way magic game. Noon way magic Rina, I don't like this. Magic You're going in blind. I seek this child, cold and bound. What is lost must yeah. now be found. Don't forget, she has crazy magical powers. Yeah. I'm sure she can break open a fridge door. And if not, plot hole. Did you know that some sigils are one oh, way? No. Oh, god damn you can it. You zap yourself into them, but you can't zap yourself out. Hopefully Roz can find them. Scratch at the sigils. Right? Yeah. She's gotta break the sigils, but there's so many of them. And she will deliver the soul to us, as dictated by the Book of the Beast. <laughs> it's like, don't underestimate her. She's already dealt with it. <laughs> I hope they figure it out, but they don't even know he's dead. Right, you there. have to realize that something's up. That beetle is telltale. The Dark Lord is here. Somewhere. This is why you could not have kept that from them, Sabrina. It's dangerous. Find him, find him, find him. And then replace <laughs> the salt. <laughs> Ball of flame. Gather for me bright and plain. Smear ice cream over the sandals. <laughs> Maybe that'll help. Right. How'd you find me? Well, I found Miss Walker. She filled me okay, in her antics, and then it was just a matter of picking up your psychic trail. I leave behind a psychic trail? Like a slug, Lee Slime. <laughs> of course you do. You're like a super powerful being. But would you please do your damn job as a morning star? She's got to enjoy this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's like, I am fine with this one. You've been killing the children. Wait, who are you? <laughs> who am I? Queen of Hell? Why, I'm Mary Wardwell. <laughs> <laughs> I teach at Baxter High. Miss Wardwell's gonna be like, what's going on? I'm happy they made it in time. I was gonna be pissed if that's the drama that they create. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Did you the top truck to say the chilling adventure? <laughs> chilling adventure. <laughs> nice. <laughs> God. <laughs> Do you need to say it twice? I mean, it's funny, but I'm like... Yeah. They only have one cheer. I mean, um, I guess it's realistic that they were practicing that cheer earlier, exactly. but... But in terms of like the amount of time you're spending on the episode on it, yeah. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. <laughs> right, <laughs> Mr. Platt? <laughs> you again. That's true for underestimating her. Burn this trash, won't you, Lilith? And feel free to get creative with this suffering. Thy wish is our command, Queen. Yeah. I'm not sure how much you shall get from his body once I'm through. I'll find another one. Yes. Hell needs a makeover. <laughs> Dare you speak to us this way? I'll speak however I please. Mm -hmm. You yes. forget yourself, Beelzebub. I'm your sovereign. And the reformation of hell starts now. Yes. <laughs> She's secretly pleased. <laughs> Girl, you in trouble. You had a long day. Yeah, but you're still in trouble because you did not tell your aunts you have the Oh, devil. shit, yeah, they would have found him by now. Well, do you care to explain yourself? Oh, I'm sorry I missed your first day at the academy. I I had this How rally. many secrets are you keeping from us? Oh, they do not know she's a, a queen of hell yet. Where do you expect to find another vessel strong enough to withstand being turned into a flesh Acheron for the devil himself? <laughs> oh. Aunties? Oh! <laughs> Convenient timing! I'm home. Any chance of a copper? Leave him. <laughs> well, yeah. They're like, here you go. Have my trash. Are you were saying, Auntie Z? <laughs> She's like, I'm cool with it. Who are the tied up children? <laughs> They're brainwashed. Blackwood. Oh, that's right. You two know each other. That makes the soul transference a little easier, doesn't it, Auntie? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she is like, I am going to enjoy this. Yeah. This filming is so weird. This room is so weird. Did they prepare for that when they were little? I think so. And don't worry, my dear siblings, we will be checking in on you. Is this pressure. set in the past? Why are they dressed that way? I don't think it's set in the past, but the words of Civil War era like inspired outfits. This is so weird. It, they look like dolls. Oh, did they miniaturize them and put them in a dollhouse? Yes, they did. That's why it's filmed so weird. Oh, like are they too traumatized? What? Or maybe till they can figure out how to help them. And the egg? Yeah, what's up with the egg? <laughs> the aquarium. The saddest aquarium ever, I must say. No. I speak of the Eldritch Terrors. Lord Lucifer. 
older than the oldest gods. Oh, I'm intrigued. I am and too. I'm so happy Nick is free. I was so afraid mm -hmm. how long he was going to be in there. Is it really you? It is. It is me. Why are you crying? I hope he's not traumatized for life by hosting the Dark Lord, though. Yeah. I mean, you definitely expect some trauma, that's for sure. I'm like, is something bad coming? I know, right? Or is it just a round robin of people kissing? No. Mm -hmm. No. Did you hear that? Is it that, like, carnival or something that's coming in? Oh, yeah. It is. I've seen beyond the veil of this world. The old ones are returning to claim the earth. This does not seem good. Yeah. Not at all. Okay, so real quick on the carnival thing, I'm thinking, because this is already episode two and we haven't even seen the carnival, except for just briefly at the end with mm -hmm. Harvey looking at it, and the way they're bringing up this Eldritch Terrors thing, I think that might be the season finale fight. I think fight. so, too. Like, it's just going to be hints and building up towards it towards the end. That's what I'm thinking for mm -hmm. that. Which, to be honest, I'm totally fine with, because the thing, the reason why, like, I think people do carnivals and stuff is because it is this really cool, fantastical setting, mm -hmm. so I think it'd make a really fun season finale having mm -hmm. it around that. Agreed. Um Also, I'm so happy that they got Nick out early in the season. Since this isn't a long show, it's usually like 12, 10 mm -hmm. episodes, something, maybe 16, I can't remember, somewhere in there. Because um, I was afraid that it was going to be like half a season of trying to get Nick out. Yeah. So I do enjoy that it's like second episode, he's out and he can actually be a character, like a full player again, which is exciting. Yeah, I don't like, however, that Faustus is there and he's in Faustus's body. Mm -hmm. The thing about Faustus is... So he was a bad guy that didn't get taken out. Or he did get mm -hmm. taken out, but now he's still around. And I don't want the show to become one of those things where they never take out the villain. Mm -hmm. Like, because Dark Lord's technically still around. Lilith yeah. is still technically around. So I don't... The Kings of Hell are still, are still around. technically around. Yeah. They have taken out Rando, like, one-off demons. Mm -hmm. But ones that are around for a while, they, they haven't really killed off. So... Mm -hmm. I don't want the show to become one of those because then you lose all the stakes because nobody ever dies, including all the bad guys. So mm -hmm. that's what I don't want to happen. In. I am also glad that it got him out, but I also really enjoyed the drama of the Dark Lord being in Nick's body. Yeah. Is it the Dark uh, Lord? Is it Nick? So I'm mm -hmm. kind of sad also that the way they formatted this, they revealed the Dark Lord was out of Faust or in Faustus's body first because Before during that scene, that it would have been up. fun to been like, did they really get him out? Or is he mm -hmm. technically still a Nick? And then if they did and the Faustus scene afterwards, you'd have been like, oh, okay, good. They did get him out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind them use like having Faustus around right now since they are kind of using him to like be the conduit into like the new season with the Eldritch mm -hmm. Terrors. And I do, I did enjoy the um, meeting with him and the Dark Lord just because, you know, it used to be he was like, um, had like fealty to him but now mm -hmm. he's just like lord lucifer which is yeah. a step, definitely a step down yeah um and so they're both such egotistical people that i don't mind seeing them being like clashing yeah <laughs> um i also i'm happy that sabrina found somebody to take that to hell and yes. like just be like you know what Reformation time. Yeah. You're like, I'm I done, like, loved it. cowing to you. Now you gotta cow to me. The very beginning part where she wouldn't take the, orig the, the original mm -hmm. man to hell and let him go to heaven gave me very Dead Like Me vibes, where she's <laughs> yeah. the Grim Reaper, but she doesn't want to be a Grim Reaper. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't, she doesn't want to take the souls and she gets in trouble for not mm -hmm. taking the souls, but then in, in, but she realized the she mistakes means that a bunch of other souls need to be taken instead. That show was so good. So, so it was making me so nervous because, like, mm -hmm. you know where it's going to go. Like, this is a Something bad idea. The wrong. guy sold his soul. But then again, it's just like, ugh. But mm -hmm. then the next guy was so evil that I was just yeah. like, yes, take One him out. One thing I like about the show is because, like, I think we've gotten, television in general has gotten so used to, like, all the drama. Like, it has to be all drama all the time. There can't be, like a good thing happen in mm -hmm. a lot of shows. Like, a lot of drama sort of teen shows. It's one bad thing after another. Oh, yeah. Well, spe especially in teen shows. Yeah. It's just, like, it's never ending. Exactly. I like, so you might have happiness for one episode and then it just shot. Yeah. Um, so I did enjoy that, like, you could have had so much pep rally drama, but no, they didn't really even focus on that. Mm -hmm. They made it in time. Cool. So then I can focus on the main storyline instead of feeling like I'm torn because, like, well, they completed this, but they didn't complete that. And now yeah. there's people who hate them at school. And, like, unneeded drama. Mm -hmm. Like, pick and choose. And I really am happy that they did pick and choose the drama here and focus on, like, what really 
will build the story. <laughs> Plus, it was really fun. We got to see more ma- magical elements with her with the pinwheel mm-hmm. and then technically teleporting into that room, but then she couldn't get out because of the sigils. Mm-hmm. And then, like, we also got to see a little bit more about how hell works. Um... And then, obviously, Father Blackwood's ridiculous magic, which obviously yes. worked, but was so ridiculous. I am right. unsure about the children. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, he aged them up, and I thought maybe they aged them up so that well, the, the mm-hmm. actors would have a role to play instead of just having two babies hang around. Mm-hmm. But then, if you immediately make them living dolls, and basically, they're going to be in this dollhouse, then, like, how does... Why that even have the story. them? Kind of thing? I imagine... But I... They might play a role later. I just yeah, don't know. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'll play a role later, but for now, they just need to keep them in, like, a safe place yeah. until they can figure out what to do. If that's where they are the rest of the season, then, yeah, I think that's a waste. Um, but if it's not where they are for the rest of the season, maybe just a couple episodes while they work out other things, then that that's makes sense to me, kind of. I still think it's weird that you would put them in there instead of putting not, them in the academy. Yeah, I'm not sure why they did that, because, like, on the one hand... I thought is maybe because they'd been so brainwashed by Father Blackwood, Mm -hmm. but then that's, wouldn't you want to heal them from that trauma? They would not be doing that as living dolls. Yeah, like, I would, or maybe it's because, uh, maybe they don't know how the magic's affected them right now, so they need to figure out how, like, what it's done to them as, like, beings. So maybe putting them in the living doll keeps them from aging and so that, so they can figure out what's going on. Um, but I, I think it would have made more sense to put them into the academy because you have space. You only have like a dozen students left because everybody yeah. else is dead. Yeah, true. <laughs> so. so the main plot point that we hated of Sabrina breaking the salt line, on the one hand, I'm glad that they didn't really go much with yes. where, um, the amount like of- I thought he was going to break out basically. Yeah, basically. So I'm glad they didn't go that way. I would have rather had like, like we said, mm-hmm. the wind blow or something instead mm-hmm. of being Sabrina's stupid mistake and not checking every single yeah. time before she shuts that door that the line is intact. Mm-hmm. But then yeah. on the other hand, they also did so little with it that Don't I was just like, it. why bother? <laughs> well, I think I, so now that, now that the episode has finished, yeah. um, I don't mind the breaking the salt line anymore that much. Cause again, it's that thing mm-hmm. of like so many shows take it to like the farthest yeah. outcome you could that since this one just made it more like he caused havoc at the school and therefore, um, Hilda and Zelda found out the truth. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I do think it's still a little stupid, like, a little stupid of Sabrina to do it, but maybe it adds to, like, the fact to remind you all that she is just a teenager yeah, trying to juggle all these different things. Oh, yeah, she was juggling so much, but I do think it was just writer's convenience. Mm-hmm. Um, and, but it's so minor in terms of the thing, but it's just, yeah. it was, it was, yeah. I'm yeah. just, because, like, in any other show, if that happened, he would have broken out, people would be dead, mm-hmm. it would take another three episodes to catch him again. So, the fact that they just did it for him just causing, like, general havoc. Yeah. I don't mind it as much. <laughs> yeah. I kind of think that, I think it would almost have been better if she hadn't broken it, but because he's so strong, he was if he could have affected it, mm-hmm. racketed everybody's tensions up the way he did, oh, even the with ten- the self the there, there, just the power of him being there turns things more mm-hmm. evil. And I think that that would have done the same thing, because then they would have been like, That's why true. is everybody so, uh, you know, mm-hmm. why are we but all But the problem raging? is you wouldn't have, I think they needed that, like, physical clue to, like, make it clear yeah. that But I don't think there. they did, because Zelda's so smart. I feel like they could have done it in a way that, like, mm-hmm. this shouldn't be natural. Like, the the cream. Mm-hmm. Like, immediately yeah. realizing that the cream, something was off about that. Then I think that they she could have inferred it, mm-hmm. and they could have searched for him, been like, there's something wrong here. Yeah, but, and but so, I feel like... Overall, that's all nitpicky anyway. Oh, yeah, totally. Like, uh, I'm just saying that that's right, a different way they yeah. could have gone in that would have worked. In terms of a whole episode, though, I really... I, I So far, I'm still really liking this Me season. Too. I like... It feels like this one's really thought out. Like, season two felt like they had sort of an idea of where they wanted to end, but not necessarily mm-hmm. how they began, so it was a little rocky. But this season definitely feels like they have their plot points already mapped out of where they want to take people. Yeah. Um, also, even though it was a little thing, I'm excited that Theo is getting a friend or a relationship or something. Oh, yeah. Their own, their own plot line. The thing is, I don't know, that guy, I don't know if they're just randomly introducing a new guy or if he's suspicious. I'm not sure which, because mm, he could be. Could be any of those. Uh, suspicious yeah. demon-y guy. I'm not sure. Right. Um, I love that her cheerleading outfit, too, that she wore the entire time. Right. Because <laughs> realistically, that's what most cheerleaders do it's in high so school. It's so funny when she's in hell. On game day, they just wear the outfit all day. <laughs> she's in hell with that. I know. It's so, it so funny. funny. I still don't know where they're going with Caliban. Besides the fact that he obviously tries to flirt with Sabrina sometimes, but Sabrina's like, what? I don't know. And which I kind of hope they don't go with because they already had that with Nick and Harvey. So mm-hmm. it's like, I don't need every guy falling for Sabrina, okay? Well, I think he's just a ledger. Yeah, that's true. He totally could <laughs> I think be. that's just his personality. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't want these patterns to come up and up over and over again. Just mm-hmm. the same thing about not killing any of the villains. Yeah. Well, so. I think we could reach the point of killing Caliban. 
<laughs> like, I think, I mean, I get why you can't kill the devil, because he's literally the devil. Yeah. Where would he go? To hell? Yeah. Like, I, I know, but that. I'm just like, yeah. Blackwood is still alive, and yeah. Edward is still alive. But, so. so, well, yeah, and I, I do enjoy that now they're taking it past just the regular heaven and hell, like, basically Christian religion, mm-hmm. and now expanding into, like, the other religions. Yeah. I don't know, like, if they're going off particular ones, I don't know enough about like, religious history, or if they're, like, inventing new ones, or just a little little bit of both. Um, so, it, I think it is going to be interesting to see there being, like, old gods, and it's that idea of, like, can you kill a god, or can yeah. you just banish them? Like, is it like the Titans, where they're trapped? Yeah. You know? I do find it interesting, also, that they skipped over a lot of the heaven versus hell stuff. So, we did have angels a couple times, mm-hmm. but we do not know anything about them, ex- you know, like, they showed up in, like, two episodes. Mm-hmm. One episode? Two episodes? Two episodes, I think. Can't remember. And they were, like, taken out. Mm -hmm. And then nothing else. Mm -hmm. And obviously we know quite a lot about hell. But we actually don't know anything about heaven, except Mm -hmm. for they they have a white car instead of a black one. (laughs) Honestly, I think that kind of makes, like, a little bit of sense, though, because Mm -hmm. they both have been around for so long. Why would hell ever really care what heaven does? Yeah. Hell itself is a very, like, egocentric place. So, like, why would they ever care about what's going on in heaven? Well, I think Except that, for to possibly take it over. I think I find it very interesting that they're saying that all the realms get kind of thrown in disarray because hell is in disarray. Mm-hmm. So, like, each realm needs to maintain its balance in order for all of them mm-hmm. to go. So I do wonder if we're going to see the reper- repercussions of other things going off mm-hmm. in other realms later on. Yeah, but. like, maybe the whole thing, maybe the reason why we haven't seen the old gods and stuff is because the balance was appropriate. Mm-hmm. So, like, they couldn't get through the barrier or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like, there's some sort of magical lock that as long as everything's kept correct, um, your land is your land and my land is my land. Yeah. So maybe this like opened the borders a bit. So they're like, ooh, let's go in. You know, I don't, I don't know. There's enough so about many it. options. Yeah. They're still only hinting at that wider plot, mm-hmm. but I'm in, really enjoying like what's happening in Sabrina's life right Agreed. now. Agreed. Yeah. I like, I'm liking the balance of like the mystery and magic and the balance of like relationships and stuff. I just, I think they're doing really well this season. I'm excited mm-hmm. to see what comes next. Yes. Um, let us know your thoughts and theories in the comments. I know most of you have probably already finished it because you get to binge watch it. <laughs> I'm so salty. I can't right now. Also, do we miss <laughs> anything this episode? Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, and as usual, if you're going to post spoilers, please make sure to put like a little spoiler thing so that nobody else uh, gets hinted ahead mm-hmm. like us. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, let us know how you felt about the episode, what your thoughts are. And yeah, thanks Don't for watching. Don't forget to like and surprise. Subscribe. Surprise. Don't forget Don't to like and surprise. surprise. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. And we will see you all in the next episode. Bye. Bye. So much. Yeah. One, so two, much. Three.